A little bit pricier. That one was like 129. Okay. This is going up the stairs to the bedroom that has been converted from an attic. Nice uh, window looking out the side of the house towards college. On either side of the room, we have lots and lots of space for clothes. An identical setup here on the other side with what looks like very new woodwork, oh, wood floors, place for a desk, and the master bed in a very cool shape to the room. There's a little bit of unevenness to the floor here. I don't know if I can show that or not. A little bit of a bump. But doesn't seem, it seems like there aren't any big cracks in it, it's all pretty seamless. And window looking towards the neighbors. So this is the side of the house on College Street with the Garage, roof looks pretty good. If I can zoom in on that at all. Come on, zoom. Being pretty good. All right. This might be just. There's absolutely no value in this, but it's just kind of an extra bonus. <laughs> Not, not really sure, theorizing that this is theirs because of the, the kid's hockey net and the presence of a lawnmower that was missing from the garage, but it looks like we got a little smoking hut. Put your tools out here. Yeah, the roof looks good. The rest of it could use some work. <laughs> But a possible bonus if this is something that belongs to us. And if that does, then I'm guessing that the garden area probably does too. Uh -huh. So, from a long view of the yard, we've got possibly the garden and the shed. A children's playground that I will have to get rid of find someone to donate that to and then enough yard where we'll probably need to buy myself a lawnmower. So that is the house. So we're looking at the jungle gym playground area here and thinking that we might be able to get a couple hundred bucks out of it, posting it up on Craigslist, have somebody else come out and deal with taking it apart. And we even have a clothesline. For at least half of a clo Oh no, there's the other half. Yeah. Huh. Nice. Just make a big hammock. I'll walk around this side of the house. I haven't seen this yet. So they were saying that the downspouts stopped working. Was that the issue with the flooding? No, I think it was off. Well, that's okay. a perfect example of definitely need to keep those on, otherwise you're going to have water problems. So probably need to fix it, those or get some new ones. Because the grating is pretty good back here on the side. All the brick and the tuck point looks really good. It's all the mortar between the bricks. Right, right. Usually there's some cracks like by windows on the corners, but this one doesn't seem to have that, which means that the house isn't moving. And it hasn't moved since they built it. Got a little bit of foaming. I can replace that window. Expand the foam into Got a nice bush here. Some trees. Any idea what kind of trees these are? Possibly some lilacs. And a little bit of 
bush on either side of the staircase and a mailbox by the front door. I think that covers it. Do that again. But the only thing I've seen is a tuck pointing up at the top of the door and then uh, the fascia which is underneath the gutter in the back just some peeling paint it just needs to uh, repaint it which is a maintenance issue. I don't know if my zoom gets up that high. And then these might need a good washing, possibly a coat of paint. Yeah, right coming off the kitchen, we've got an area for a grill. Set up some chairs. Next to a very large tree. One more tree on the property between the sidewalk and the road. And the cemetery. Which is huge. I didn't know how big this was. I looked at it on Google Maps. It just goes on forever. Yeah. Well, this is 55th and it goes down to almost 48th Street. Just about as big as Waveland Golf Course from bird's eye view. But this road, I'm told, gets pretty busy in the morning. But my driveway is off of college. But going either way, this might be a little bit packed. But I'm um, straight shot to the interstate. Actually, the same entrance that I take now from where I'm currently living.